Hello, beautiful humans. So, welcome back. I'm Caroline. Today, I want to talk about what I do as a cosmetic nurse slash aesthetic nurse. Everybody has basically a different thing they like to be called. You can call us aesthetic nurse injectors, cosmetic nurses, aesthetic nurses, just a registered nurse. Um, but yeah, so today I kind of want to talk about the different things that I do in my day. So my job, for just for background, I have my BSN or registered nurse, and that's in the state of Tennessee. Some states you have to be a mid-level, whereas PA, nurse practitioner, or an MD. So in when it comes to my job, I have kind of two different modalities. So I have the injectable side, and then there's the laser side. So when it comes to injectables, we do Dysport Botox, which is our two neurotoxins. There's a couple others on the market, but those are the two that we work with specifically. And if you guys want any specific videos on each of these topics, let me know. I will leave timestamps down below of when I talk about the different individual things um, and more information, that kind of stuff. So we have Botox and Dysport, which is our two neurotoxins. Um, and basically what they do is they are paralytics that we can use throughout the face. So whether I'm doing a brow lift or masseters, glabella, that kind of stuff. Um, along with Dysport and Botox, we also do fillers. So a lot of people think that Botox and fillers are the same thing. Botox is kind of the Kleenex of the neurotoxin world. When it comes to fillers, we can put fillers pretty much anywhere. You know, a lot of people just think about lips when they think about filler. Um, but I mean, I can do a liquid facelift. We can do fillers in the cheeks. We can do fillers in the nasal labial folds. Um, some people do these guys as far as brace. Uh, they call, they're called necklace lines. Personally, I'm not comfortable with that. Um, so we do all of those injectables. We have two different types where I work. We have Allergan and Galderma. So Allergan owns Botox. Galderma owns Dysport. So along with they each have their own neurotoxin, they each have their own line of fillers. So Galderma has Restylane and the Restylane family of products and Allergan has Juvederm and the Juvederm family of products. So when it comes to fillers on the Juvederm side, we have from, I'm going to go from thinnest to thickest. So we have Volbella, which is great for like perioral lines. I'll use that in tear troughs sometimes. We have Velour, which is a little bit thicker, really good for more superficial nasolabial folds. On Like I could use some Velour in my nasolabial folds. Um, if somebody wants a lip, but doesn't want a really, really, if they're like, I don't wanna look like Kylie Jenner, which I can't tell you how many times a day I hear that. And you know, whenever you're in this industry, it's really important, your patient assessment is key. And telling patients, you know, explaining to them how much a syringe actually is and how much product it takes to look look a certain way, um, specifically when we're looking at mid-facial volume loss, but I'll get there in a second. Um, so we've got Volbella, we've got Velour, and now we've got Juvederm Ultra, which is great. We've got, we can do that in the nasolabial folds, we can do that in the lips. Um, swelling's a little bit more that I found with those. I haven't played with Ultra as much. Um, I my next product is my favorite, Juvederm Ultra Plus. I love Ultra Plus. Um, it's one of the thicker fillers. I love it in the lips. It's what I have in my lips personally. I love it in the nasolabial folds. It is a beautiful, beautiful filler. Um, I've also played with it a lot, so that's probably why I like it so much. So we've got, in terms of thinnest to thickest, so far we've got Volbella, Velour, Juvederm Ultra, Juvederm Ultra Plus, and then finally one of our biggest workhorses, we have Voluma, which Voluma is Juvederm's mid-facial volume loss product. So Voluma is going to be your thickest, it's going to last the longest, and it's going to be your most structural. So this is going to be something we can put in cheeks, we can put in the jawline, and this is something that is great for our patients that are a little bit older, so in their 40s to 50s, when we're starting to lose these deep facial fat pads, that's going to lift everything up. Um, or if we just want to increase that size you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. Um, yeah, so from thinnest to thickest, we have Volbella, Velour, Juvederm Ultra, Juvederm Ultra Plus, and Voluma. And so that's on the Allergan side. So again, that's who owns Botox. And then now we're going to do Galderma. So I just started working with Galderma products. So I'm not as well versed in them, but we have the Restylane family. And in terms of thinnest to thickest, so we've got, we have Restylane Silk, which again, perioral lines. Restylin, Restylin Refine, Restylin Define, and then Restylin Lift. Um, and just since I'm not as well versed in those, I'm gonna leave the actual Galderma website and what they 
recommend those for. Um, obviously, we only have certain FDA clearance for certain areas of the face. A lot of this industry, you know, you're going off label. Um, so it's really important to educate yourself as far as what does the FDA recommend versus what we're actually doing in house. Um, and I can talk about that in a different video if you guys are interested as far as getting FDA, not getting FDA clearance, but getting comfortable doing things off label. Because remember, if you go off label and something bad happens, the company is not going to back you up. Um, so, and we'll talk about insurance as well in a, at a later date. So those are our injectables. Um, and that's a big part of what I do. Um, you know, I would say Botox is a really good entry level, um, for this and Botox is kind of, I don't want to say the gateway drug, but the gateway drug to this world. Um, so we've got our injectables modality and along with that, I also do microneedling, um, which is a facial treatment. It's basically like aerating your face. Personally, we use the skin pen. It's the only FDA approved, um, device. We can use microneedling with a serum that comes from skin pen as well as have microneedling with PRP, which is platelet rich plasma. Basically draw the patient's blood, centrifuge it for 10 minutes, and then we use their actual platelets as the serum. Really, really cool. Um, probably one of my favorite things that I do. Um, so there is a drawing blood aspect to my job. Um, the ER has helped with that. But if you're kind of new to this, you know, they'll teach you, um, or, you know, take a phlebotomy class. They're not expensive. Um, or, you know, just focus on that in nursing school, you know, try to focus on a straight stick. It's just a butterfly needle, nothing crazy. You're not putting an IV in easy peasy. Um, so now that's kind of all of the injectables we do. We also offer mirror dry and cool sculpting, which if you guys want a separate video about that, let me know. Um, those are kind of their own animals. Um, and then we also have lasers. So, I'd say um, we offer Qterra as well as Candela. Um, they're kind of two of the big guns as well as a vaginal laser called Juliet. Um, if you guys want a separate lasers video, let me know. But basically a quick rundown of what we use. We've, we've got Limelight, Titan, Genesis, laser hair removal, Pearl, Pearl Fractional, I think that's it. If I'm forgetting one, I'll leave it down below. Um, with lasers, biggest thing is getting glasses on them um, because you can, I mean, you can mess somebody's face up if you're not careful. There's all different types of contraindications as far as, you know, if a patient's got melasma or if they're, you know, a Fitzpatrick, if they're a certain Fitzpatrick scale. So basically the Fitzpatrick scale is what we use to grade patients' skin and how they're going to react to different wavelengths, laser beams, that kind of stuff. If you guys want a laser video, that's like a whole nother animal in itself. Um, today I kind of just wanted to go through kind of an example of what I do, um, go through some injectables. Um, yeah. And as far as injectables trainings, again, palette is awesome. Palette resources, I'll leave them down below. I took several of their classes, in-house trainings. Um, and this is, I don't want to say that this is controversial, but for baby injectors, whatever you do, always, 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 always aspirate, unless you're in the lips. If you are anywhere in the face, draw back that needle and aspirate because the biggest risk with any type of injectables is vascular occlusion. This is specific, this is specifically filler. Um, basically, if some of that filler gets into the actual vasculature of what feeds the face, I cannot tell you enough, please, 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 please aspirate. It's never happened to me, knock on wood, but the longer you inject, it's not an if, it's a when. Um, what we do, if that does happen, is you'll know immediately. So you will see blanching, basically the skin around the area will get really, really light and dusky, increased pain. Um, you'll know something is wrong. What we use, um, I, personally I use Hylinex, which is an enzyme that basically breaks up those fillers because all of these fillers are hyaluronic acid based products. What hyaluronic acid is, is it's a water loving substance. So we inject the, in, we inject the filler, it soaks up all the fluid from those tissues, plumps up, gives us a really, really nice volume. Um, but basically use Hylinex, go in, blast them full of Hylinex and dissolve it. But just please, Educate your patients. I cannot tell you this enough. Educate your patients, you guys, because these are their faces. Um, you know, in this world, it's real pretty. People want to, you know, just kind of 
glass over all the stuff that can happen. And I'm not trying to scare you guys, but it's important that you are educated and know what to tell your patients. And I just, I feel like I'm kind of on a soapbox right now, but you know, being from the ER, you know, you really, you gotta take care of your peeps. And that's what's gonna keep, that's what's gonna increase your patient retention is if they feel like they care about you, because you should. I mean, you know, these are their faces and you know, this is, it's a lot for somebody to trust you to put a needle in their face. Um, sorry, I just like went off on a tangent. And there's also a skincare aspect to what I do. So I think it's really important to be pretty educated about your skincare um, as far as pharmaceutical grade skincare. So at the place I work, we carry Obagi, Skin Medica, and Image. Um, I'm not, I don't think it's a one size fits all. Um, I think I take a little bit from every kind of provider for lack of better word. If you guys want like a skincare routine, let me know. Um, but so I think if you're like, if you're in high school or something and you think you want to do this, I'll tell you, having an aesthetics background is awesome. We have a nurse who was an esthetician for a long time. And I think that really gives her a benefit. Um, as far as just having a good knowledge of skincare, how the skin reacts to stuff, different active ingredients, that kind of world. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of a quick rundown of what I do as a cosmetic nurse, specifically about injectables. And if you guys want a separate lasers video, let me know. Um, and as well as if you guys want any like, not demos, but I'll kind of insert a couple pictures here and there of kind of what products I used and what areas of the face I used. I'm gonna have to figure out HIPAA and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so that's just kind of my quick little check-in before work. I'm about to go into work today. It's a beautiful day here. It's finally, the sun is finally coming out, which is fantastic. But yeah, so that's kind of what I do as a cosmetic slash aesthetic nurse, whatever you wanna call me. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below to Caroline Beth right here. Click the bell if you want to. Give me a like if you've got any friends that are interested in this world. Let me know. I've got an NCLEX video coming and I've got some interview question videos coming. And if you guys want a lasers video, slash cool sculpting slash mirror dry let me know what you want down below and i will see you guys in the next one i hope you guys have an awesome awesome day i love you guys Bye.